We are here to assassinate Reinhard Heydrich. Only Hitler is above him in the Nazi hierarchy. British heartthrob Jamie Dornan, best known for his role in Fifty Shades of Grey, is at the forefront of the World War II historical drama Anthropoid released this week. Set in what was Czechoslovakia, he plays a resistance paratrooper called Jan. Along with his comrade-in-arms, Josef, portrayed by Killian Murphy, he is on a mission to kill a high-ranking Nazi official, Reinhard Heydrich, one of the architects of Hitler's final solution, also known as the Butcher of Prague. It was an incredibly perilous mission. Take a look around. This is not some game. Do you see this film as basically a story about heroism? Not just our two characters, but all the men and women involved in, in the operation were, were hugely heroic and, and patriotic, and, and um, it's definitely a, a very central theme of it, I'd say, yeah. I think it's a sort of a nice investigation of how do we define our heroism. You know, what I like about this film is that it's, it is about heroism, but it's a study on, on what exactly makes an heroic act or what is the price you have to pay for that, you know. How easy was it for you to identify with these men who really put their lives on the line? Because, I mean, as actors, you both had a very kind of protected existence in a way, haven't you? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. And Jan, I find him particularly relatable because he has panic attacks, he's riddled with anxiety, he's yeah. always feeling that he's sort of over his head and are they making the right decision and he's questioning everything. And the reality is, as brave as I think I'd be in those situations, I'd probably respond the same way, so I, I related to that on, on, a, on, a, on a big level. The title of the mission, Operation Anthropoid, suggests a venture from science fiction fantasy, but it was very real in terms of historical fact. Carry the cyanide capsules at all times. It's a story that's very well known in the Czech Republic, but outside of that, not many people know that story, and I found it fascinating. And, and it sort of, it plays out like a movie, the events, and so it sparked sort of like 10-year research of everything that was at Operation Anthropoid. But I wanted to really know what it would, would have been like to be Jan and Josef and transport back into that 1942 to actually do that mission and sort of put the audience in their shoes. The face the armed guard here in the open. It would not be my first choice. And it was our only choice. Jamie, do you think with a historical drama like this, it's important to be loyal to the facts, to actually stay true to what really happened? Or can a filmmaker, the director, Sean Ellis, take liberties with this? I think a mix of the two. I think that this film is, um, as, 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 as historical movies go, I think we stick to the facts pr pretty well. But I, um, I certainly don't think that that's what it's all about. I think it's about making two hours of entertainment above everything else. Killian, you know, I mean, this is a period film. What do you think will audiences, or why is it relevant to today's world for people to actually see this film? Well, there's, there's two things about that. I think, you know, first and foremost, you know, I think we have a duty to learn from history. That's that's important. But I think what's more important is not to dictate yeah. to the audience what they should take from the film. I think audiences are far more sophisticated than we give them credit for, and they can glean what they will from it. And if they think it resonates in a certain fashion, that's useful. And if they think there are comparisons to what's happening politically today, then that's useful also. But it's not our job to tell them how to feel. Some critics have taken the view that the film is overly restrained, at least until its finale. But that could also be one of its strengths, because it's not just an action drama. It's also a film that leaves room for a character study of the two protagonists amid the turmoil as they face possible death. If you're arrested, there will be no escape. May God be with you.